His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, accompanied by his son, Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, visited yesterday evening the majlises of Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Ahmed Mansour Al Ali, sons of the late Hajj Hassan Al Ali, and Minister of Follow Up Affairs Mohammed Al Mutawa'. His Royal Highness said that under the leadership of His Majesty the King, Bahrain continues to strengthen the principles of unity among Bahrain citizens. He added that the strong bonds that exist within Bahrain help to protect the kingdom from the threat of extremist ideologies, which seek to undermine regional security. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince reaffirmed that Bahrain's security will be protected at all times and highlighted the ongoing collaboration between security institutions in order to maintain security and stability across the kingdom. He highlighted that the holy month of Ramadan offers a unique opportunity to reflect on Islamic values which underpin and promote peace and tolerance. The hosts and guests of the Majlises expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's visits and highlighted His Royal Highness's ongoing and wide-ranging engagement with Bahrain citizens and families.
the representative for charity and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, to honor the volleyball competition winners as part of the first Nasser bin Hamad Ramadan Sports Games and eighth Ramadan Football Championship, Nasser Eight. And Muharraq team was able to achieve the winning title in the competition. His Highness affirmed that the success of the competition and its remarkable organizational and technical form is due to the continuous success of sports game competitions, especially after the handball competition. His Highness pointed out that the collective work of the organizing committee and the sports federation were the basis for the success of the competition. He praised the Muharraq team lauding the high competitive spirit and morality that dominated the competition. His Highness expressed his gratitude to the local mass media and sponsors that contributed to the success, stressing the importance of the continuous cooperation in these competitions to achieve its youth and sports goals in the kingdom. The Minister of Justice and Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, confirmed that the ministry will take legal actions against anyone who incites hatred and attempts to break the national and Islamic unity. He said that the ministry is coordinating with the specialists and relevant authorities to monitor the activities in the houses of worship. Sheikh Khalid bin Ali pointed out that these serious events in the region require responsibility in order to preserve unifying speech. The minister also warned about the terrorist groups who attempt to break stability and unity thwart the country's achievements and incite sectarianism for their deviant goals. The Minister of Foreign Affairs welcomed the U.S. decision to lift the hold on the sale of military items to Bahrain's armed forces, saying that such a move will enhance ongoing security partnership as the kingdom continues to counter the mounting threat posed by terrorism and extremism in the region. The Foreign Ministry statement came after the U.S. State Department said it was lifting the hold, citing meaningful progress on human rights. The Foreign Ministry said that the Kingdom is committed to the long-term safety of its citizens and to those of its GCC neighbors, and believes it is important to recognize that the government of Bahrain has made meaningful progress on human rights, reforms and reconciliation. The statement added that as recognized by the State Department, the Kingdom has implemented wide-ranging reforms and remains committed to enhancing accountability and transparency and safeguarding individual rights and justice. The International Peace Institute, Middle East and North Africa hosted today a gathering for religious leaders representing different phases of the world with the aim of consolidating their stand against acts of terrorism perpetrated on the name of religion. More in this report with Fatma Al-Basagi. With a prayer from different religions around the world in respect to those who were killed or injured in the different attacks around the world, the International Peace Institute hosted a gathering of different religious figures and leaders in the kingdom who came together during the holy month of Ramadan. First, the fact to uh, gather all these uh, leaders of different faiths, religions and communities in this very challenging context is an achievement in itself, let alone when they get out of this meeting adopting a forward-looking resolution that recommends concrete steps to tackle terrorism in the name of religion. We adopted today as the Manama call. Manama has become the destination of peacemakers and we will work on making of it the source of the message of peace and hope. The religious leaders called to foster mutual respect, tolerance, dialogue and cultural peace within the community and between the youth and emphasized the important role played by educators and community leaders to promote such collective beliefs. We are here to, to tell people in Bahrain, in the area, in all the world, Bahrain is the land of peace. And we are here to show all the people around the world, these people from all the world, from all the religion, uh, uh, to come together to show the peace in Bahrain. After the very good uh, meeting today, the outcome which I see is very healthy. All the faiths together working in the same direction for the peace, for the love and affection 
in entire mankind that is the human beings despite the challenging circumstances in the world a flare of hope peace and unity continues to shine and the kingdom of bahrain rejects once again any violence under the name of religion and remains a destination for harmony peace and unity today different religious leaders have gathered here to prove that in challenging situations unity and peace are key players reporting for bahrain television news center this is fatma bestigi Teaching Americans young and old about the customs of Bahrain and its predominantly Muslim population is a priority at the Washington Embassy of Bahrain, where they recently held an iftar for students. Our Washington reporter Marty Johnson was there and filed this report. Dusk was coming on as the embassy started to fill with young people, students attending a cultural iftar, led by Mubarak Boudi, head of the embassy's cultural and educational office. Because some of them, they have never, never had the chance to experience Ramadan. They have never had the chance to attend or to come to one of the embassies, uh, especially to one of the Middle Eastern embassies. Uh, beside this, uh, they lack the knowledge uh, or the information about the holy month of Ramadan and the kind of traditions and the kind of practices we do. There was a brief presentation on Bahrain's history and culture, along with an explanation of Ramadan traditions. Providing a bit of color, embassy staffer Madison Clough, who though she is not Muslim, is fasting with her colleagues simply want to encourage everyone to simply give it a try for a month that whether you're Christian, Jewish or Muslim, it's important to try to share in the holiday and to share in the blessed spirit of the holy month of Ramadan. A little after 8.30, each participant enjoyed dates followed by prayers. There are two different groups of students here for the embassy's cultural iftar. 20 of them came from the Washington Center. Those are students gathered from all over the United States. Another 10 are from Georgetown University, which is here in the district. All of them got an eyeful and a mouthful of Bahrain. Which, yes, every student mentioned when asked what they liked. But what did they learn? Different countries celebrate Ramadan a little bit differently. They all have very, sim they're very similar, but they all have different uh, aspects of uh, their culture that they like to show in their food um, and some of their traditions that they, they do to celebrate Ramadan and breaking the fast and such. Specifically the certain foods and how like they begin fasting, that's actually pretty interesting to me. Um, I didn't know that it was comprised of 33 islands, little facts like that. I enjoyed getting to practice my, my Arabic a little bit. I study Arabic, so it was cool to get to practice with some native speakers and get to know a little more about their culture. So what do you want to say to people in Bahrain in Arabic? Bahrain in Arabic. Um, Assalamu alaikum, uh, Ramadan Karim. A worthy message to send back to the country that gave him an evening of Ramadan delights. Reporting for Bahrain TV, I'm Marty Johnson, Washington. A very good evening, you're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Share Index closed today at 1,354.64 points, a decrease of 13.19 points below yesterday's closing. This was due to the fall in the commercial banks, investment services and industrial sectors. Results indicated that 48 transactions took place with a volume of 1,016,587 shares, or the total value of 323,034 Bahraini dinars. Investors traded mainly in the industrial sector represented 40.4% of the total value of shares traded.
Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. Bahrain were last night crowned as volleyball tournament champions in the first Nasser bin Hamad Ramadan sports game and the eighth football championship Nasser 8. Bahrain clinched the title after beating Bahrain's national youth team 3-0, 25-21, 25-21 -21, and finally 25-12 at the Bahrain Volleyball Association Arena in Isa Town. Youth and Sport Affairs Minister Hisham bin Hamad Jodar handed over the cup and medals to Maharak team members and awarded the runner-up best player in the tournament and the refereeing crew. Maharak advanced to the final of the basketball tournament in the first Nasser bin Hamad sports game and the eighth Ramadan football championship Nasser 8 after a hard-earned 75-70 victory over Al Najma at the Bahrain Basketball Association Arena in Um Al Hassam yesterday. Both teams showed strong performance in the tie and the scores were close for much of the fourth quarter. Maharak, however, managed to do enough to come away with the win. They are now set to face the VIPs in the title game. <laughs> VIP basketball team qualified for the final match in Nasr bin Hamad's Ramadan time tournament Nasr 8 after beating Manama team 84-79 at the Bahrain Basketball Association Sport Hall.